Welcome back guys and thank you for joining me in another episode from our masterclass blueprints Today we're gonna take care of blenders This is the Mark II blueprint designer So you have access on this baby when you have the blenders I checked it, okay so This is kind of trick So blenders, let's talk a little about them You got a bunch of recipes in here Normally, almost always, if you look down here, you have three items going inside. This one requires four, for example. So you always have one entry, one exit. And look, this guy has one exit for entry points. Two liquids, two solids. Same stuff with this. If you look in here, that little magic means that you have an exit of water. Okay, that one only nitric acid is going now. This one is pushing up water and scrap. This one silicon water. So you always have two exits. Always. Not always. There are cases where you don't have, but most of the times you have it. So let's put down two of them. What in the middle? And we're gonna take care of this because it's a paint builder. Okay, that's what we're doing right now. So by the time you get this Mark II Blueprint Designer, you already have Mark IV. I'm not sure about Mark V. Let me just make a run, <laughs> run flight in there and check it out if we have Mark Vs or not. Because I don't remember. So uh this is the mark three not interested uh in here tier six you get that what do you have in here industrial so you get manufacturers that means you have mark four because oxide it's only in here so you don't have mark fives you only have mark fours so that means you can build your recipe with Mark IV if you want. You can make Mark II pipes. I'm not sure I want that. Honestly, I'm not sure I want that. So I will build everything Mark once. Okay, even the belt. Yeah, because guess what? These boys, even if you're making something complex like that, let's say, you can easily upgrade all those. Okay, I don't know. Should I make a mark once, mark two, mark three? I don't know. So I will make everything mark once. They are really, really easy to modify once you're in there in the field. But we're gonna make a mark once. Now let's put these babies in and let's see if we have enough space in here. Because this is gonna be a little issue here. Oh, already made a mistake. Okay, good stuff. So if I put my splitters in here, I'll have enough space. Okay, I still have a little space in there. What about the exit? Let's see about the exit. Exit, you're gonna have solid or liquid. We have a bunch of space because we can have in here, merger is gonna be just so standing, you know? So it's perfect. We're all set. Okay, let's put the mergers because, I don't know, we are on this side. Now, Usually when I build, I start from this side, go on that side. Uh, this stuff, when you build it into the wall, normally you start from this place and go that place. So all my products will be delivered from this place in here. And the exits will go that way, just to make it clear. Okay, so watch there, I'm going to put my merger in here. Uh-oh, is it wrong? in here and all of them are gonna go forward remember to take that one out place it back you're gonna have to replace these leaves basically with whatever you need okay i'm just gonna drag a mark one belt in here this gets a mark one i need mark six i make a mark six easy peasy i need that one mark six I make a mark six and that's it. But for the sake of this blueprint, that stuff all of it is gonna be a mark one. Because you have access to mark force. 
So in theory, you can make all of this mark for and it's gonna be just so standing. If you wanna do it, be my guest. What happens if you're in the field? Do you wanna build 18 of this? I don't know, something like that. And you run out of encased beams. Hmm? Trust me, you're gonna have enough mark one belts on you. So yeah, I'm gonna use those. Let's go with those crosses in here. Boop. Uh, mark one. Uh, sorry, wrong button. I'm gonna come with this pipe in here, but I will not go over that way because when I'm gonna place the next one in there, it's gonna be easy for me to connect this pipe. To this entry port in here because it's only gonna be two spaces same thing for this one being outside it's easy to connect if it wasn't that easy to connect to the next one I would have probably come with that one in there you know but that one is kind of complex because I gotta go underneath so that's why I put it you may skip it if you want let's take care of the inputs we already said that this is our entry point, okay? Being two entry points, we're gonna have to make it on two levels. So this is gonna be pretty interesting in here because uh, I don't have enough space. So we have more options in here. Well, I think if I go in there like that, that belt will come. Well, if I would have placed them right, maybe I could have shown it, but I didn't place them right. So let me place them right. You can do it with the belt in here. And it's gonna be just amazing, you know? No point in doing anything else. This is as simple as it gets. You're gonna have that entry up, that entry down. Uh, or you could do it differently. You could put in there. Uh, sorry? In there, split there. And modify a little of this magic in here. So keep the, the stuff going go one higher that's it too high and then when you're gonna put this one you heard it guess what it clicked so you can come from this boy in there and it's gonna look it just amazing only issue you get that one in the wrong spot so put it up and repeat the process is it gonna be enough Yes, it is. Perfect. We just made it with lifts. Yeah, that one it's a little higher. Are we gonna die about it? I don't think so. So let's put the next one. This one is gonna have to be up top in here. Let's connect our lifts. This is the first one. Delete that one. Lift it up. I think we made it too high. Yeah. From there in there, it clicked already. Okay. Let's put our Mark 1 belt because we said everything is gonna be Mark 1. Maybe we're gonna put that splitter in the right direction, you know, that will be just outstanding BAG. Amazing. Reconnect that splitter. That uh, lift, I wanna say. Okay, that one is connected. That one is connected. It's gonna be painful if you put free in line to connect in there. So better stress yourself right now. Coming here with it. Don't wanna go over that. Okay? So not even in here because it's gonna be hard to connect this belt to the next one over there. So get a little back, you know, like in there. And if you really wanna make it pretty, grab yourself a stackable conveyor pole and put it in here. Same thing at the output in here. Uh, I'm gonna go over that one. So I don't wanna go over that one. I'm gonna put it in here. Okay. That's my belt in there. That's the other belt in there. I can easily connect. Now, um, I hope, I hope that by the time you're gonna start using these boys, you're gonna take the time to go into your Watson shop and unlock those boys. Otherwise, your blueprint ain't gonna work this time. You know, to mitigate that, you can put in here, let me delete that. 
show. You can put it here, compare. Uh, so we sit in here. Like that, and delete it. And then replace your belt. So you're gonna have a belt in the air and a belt like that. Does it look good? In my opinion, not. So by the time you are in here at Blenders, you already have this boys unlocked. If you don't, I suggest you do it. Your factory will look a lot better if you start using those. Uh, same thing goes for the pipes, okay? Um, <laughs> watch out with the holes, okay? So if you have floor holes, wall holes, and you connect quite to it, and at some point your factory is not working properly, you may want to investigate those floor holes. I'll just leave it in there, okay? So, this will be our first pipe. Uh, pipe. Pipe which, come here. Pipe which, in here. Pipe which, in there. And we're gonna come with it in here. Now we'll come with in here because I will not have enough place to connect that one. Okay? Same thing with that boy. Come with it. Hello, BG. Okay, got it, got it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Put it down there. This is one of your inputs, okay? Whichever one you want it to be. Now, in the same WhatsApp shop, you're gonna find in here this boy, stackable pipeline support. Guess what? It goes over there, guy. Boop. Boop. Guess what? This lift, even if it's low, will allow your pipe to pass through there without touching. Look, it's blue. It doesn't touch. Okay? You take your crosses and you put them in here. You can put them at an angle or you can put them straight. If for some reason it doesn't want to snap in there. I don't know why. It is what it is. We're gonna do our best in the line. When you're gonna build your pipe, if you press R, look in there, build mode auto. Auto to D, hello, or horizontal to vertical. If you start from here, and go in there, it's gonna make a nice bend, horizontal to vertical. I like using that one, I don't know why, but I like it. You can make it auto, you can make it 2D, you can make it noodle, you can make it whatever you want. I like using that one. That's for the straight ones. If you put the ones that are inclined, it's gonna look like that. No matter how you change it, okay? No, no, looks the best. Uh, do you wanna use that one? Do you wanna use the other one? Use whichever one you want, whatever makes you happy. I'm just gonna use these guys because I love them. And there is another reason why I use them. Maybe I'm limited with the space and I want to mirror this on the other side. I'm gonna show you on the grass in there. That's our building. Right? Let's finish with this one. Now, what else? We're gonna need some power poles in here. Let's sneak them. I don't know. Here. For easy access because uh, easy to connect this one to whatever and this one to whatever in there. We have put our outputs. Yeah, it can go either way. The pipe, that guy only goes that way. Um, we're gonna put one of this in here. Yeah, let, let's just put it because it's nice and pretty, you know. That one doesn't really need it. Okay, we have our inputs in here two belts, two pipes, two belts, two pipes. So, depending on the recipe that you have. I'm not gonna put it on one of those because if I put it, guess what? It's gonna remain in there. So let's get next to our little trade choo choo in here. Uh, for example, this one. Okay, you wanna make this of silica. Okay, you're gonna need limestone, water, and uh, dissolved silica. Okay, so you're gonna have, let's say, water in that pipe, dissolved silica in there, limestone on one of these. Does the other one bother you? I don't think so. If it bothers you, okay, go ahead and delete them. If not, it is what it is. 
most likely you will need to transport hundreds of these guys. How many hundreds? I don't know. Depends on the recipe. Depends on what you want to do in there. Maybe you want to make them um, underpacked or overpacked. And you want to have these guys mark sixes in here. Or mark ones. Or mark threes. Okay, mark three, for example. Click, 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 click. Click, 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 click is done. Same stuff with the belts. You want the mark free? You have to click once, twice, thrice, thrice, five, five thrice, and that's it. Five times. But easy of construction here. I'm just gonna keep them like this. Of course, you need a bunch of stuff to build those. So most likely, you will have mark fives unlocked. I don't know if I want to make a mark first. because you know to build this guys if you look it requires the casings if you have the casings you're gonna have mark 5 baby so maybe you want to do all those mark 5s I will just leave a mark 1 because I'm paranoid like that. so that's it oh I think this blueprint is kind of done okay so let's come in here uh, to blenders Uh, with a single one of those, MK1. Uh, there, oh, I gotta make a directory in here. A category. Uh, no, why remove that one? You're gonna be called blenders. No icon. Subcategory, add blueprint here. Uh, apply changes. And only after that. That uh, icon. I want the icon for a blender because it's easy to identify by the way it looks in my head. Save blueprint. Done. Now I might need free. Okay. <laughs> Here we go with the problems. Should I make one blueprint for one? I don't know. Honestly, I don't want to. I find, I find it very easy to add one and mimic what's already been built in here. So let me grab my stuff from here. Come in here and show you some, some examples. I don't know. So I have here this, this stuff that we just built. I see my white arrow in there. That means this is the entry. It's easy to see. By the way, you have double everything. Okay, so let's say we're building from this side in there. I have a me. What's gonna be easy for you to place another blender in here and put all those? I mean, you could do it. Okay, you can do this. How many pipes are you using? Well, let's say both of them. Okay, connect that in there. Connect that in there. It's gonna look like shit, okay? Or you can redo all that mess, make it pretty in there. But I will not do that. I will go in here. So if you select, you see this phantom mode default, you pick them out one by one. If you press R, it's the blueprint. Well, if you press the middle mouse button here, guess what? It's gonna copy the recipe. For blueprint so I'm gonna connect this one here. now I have four and instead of messing off building all that I'm just gonna delete the last one okay this mental mode is default right now it's not blueprint okay blueprint deletes all default I keep pressing control and I just go over it like that and I kind of delete everything that I catch in there limit of deleting them boy it's 50 uh, almost done most likely you're gonna delete a few foundations but it is what it is you just made your freight okay connect that power uh, I'm gonna fall it's fine connect that build connect that build connect the pipes in there in here Exit pipe, exit build is done. If you wanna go with that pipe in there, 
easy peasy and that's about it you just put your thread down that's why I don't think it's worth it to make a blueprint only for that one oh, I'm falling because that blueprint is gonna look really stupid you know because it's gonna be <laughs> let me show you how it's gonna look it's gonna look like that um for some reason i don't like it so i will not make it okay this will be my only blueprint that i'll have for this business now there is a caviar over there you may want to have four and you may want to mirror them okay so if this is my entry point uh i want to have some others in there like that you know but that's an issue because your belts are going the other way well don't be too stressed about it okay don't be too stressed about it because that can be easily addressed let me grab some power because i like to flow so you just built your second uh, batch let's call it okay entry point is this one well let's pretend that they are on foundations and aligned okay um take it from down there oh my god they're not they, they're really not aligned here okay yeah okay if they would have been aligned this would have worked one nice in here but it's not it is what it is you're gonna connect those then you're gonna connect those on foundations you can do it pretty in here you cannot do it pretty on the grass it is what it is so these are my belts these are my pipes everything is circulating on this side the only thing you gotta take care now it's your exit now the pipe depending on where you want it to exit you know because maybe you want it in there or maybe you want it in here if you want it in here you take your exit pipe and you connect this one to that one in there of course make a big circle of whatever go in there you know that product that you have in the pipe no matter what product it is is circulated circulating in all the ways so you could have your exit in here just put a cross on it and ta -da, here's your exit or you can draw the product from one of these pipes that one or that one. okay uh that one you can delete it in there that belt or you can leave it your choice your exit point will be that one if you want your product to exit this way all you gotta do is connect this belt from here to that belt in there uh, do something amazing in there okay if you want your exit to go forward you did the other stuff you come with this belt in here gotta lift it up because most likely in here you're gonna have the entry points use lifts if necessary connect it in there in a beautiful way that I'm unable to do right now because I'm not in all foundations and everything goes that way now supply wise um, you could you could try to connect those together in there like that but it's gonna be really freaking you out at some point there is no point in it you it's better to connect them in the end if you don't want to connect them in there you can do something else let me show you what let me delete all the mess because it pisses me off you already understood my point of view okay so you have in here these crosses well you just do it like that if they would have been aligned on a foundations a foundation i said this boys in here would have been at the same level and straight since they're not on a foundation that's not happening so now you just merge those pipes all you gotta do is put one entry point in here one in here or wherever you want them wherever you want it okay and you got your entry points doing this is good but you lose access to your belts so 
I don't know how you wanna do it. You only need these two belts in here, okay? Maybe, I don't know, bring the one below. That boy in here, let's say. Plug lift on it. Plug the lift on that one. And bring the solid goods through there. And the liquids. I don't know why I lifted those boys. And the liquids in those crosses in there. That depends where you're building, what you're building, what you want to build. But the possibilities are endless, basically. You can do a bunch of things in here. More or less beautiful. The idea is that the most difficult part, it's already fixed, the most difficult part is to place all those pipes, all those crosses and all the um, all the lifts in there, basically. That's the most difficult part. And we just fixed that one. So we're gonna leave this one here. Guys, thank you so much for being here for watching this. If you like it, don't forget to smash the like button for me. It really helps a lot. And if by any chance you want to support my dream of becoming a full type content creator, you can do that by grabbing yourselves an amazing membership. Thank you again for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of y'all.